Token is a platform to create asset-backed tokens that you can easily trade in different uh, around the world. As an example, they have issued a token called TrueUSD, which is packed to the price of US dollar. Um, it is listed on exchanges such as Binance, Bittrex, and in Korean exchange called Opit. And I'm very proud to present to you the vice president of um, Trust Token, Tari. Hello, Tari. Hi, how's it going? So the first question I want to ask you is, Chris, briefly introduce yourself and your team. Sure. So uh, again, my name is Tori Reese, and uh, I'm a VP here at Trust Token. I'm in charge of uh, corporate development, um, but also uh, work on product strategy as well. Um, our team is a, we're all based here in San Francisco, uh, and we come from a collection of places, including Google, uh, Stanford, Palantir, uh, and many have a banking background as well, uh, Goldman and uh, et, et cetera. So let's get to the point. So what is stablecoin and why is it so important? Sure. So stablecoins are a, a hot topic right now because of how volatile the cryptocurrency markets have been. Obviously, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, and most of all the altcoins have been uh, rising and falling very rapidly. But as people are, and entrepreneurs and businesses are moving more and more onto the blockchain, they need a stable store of value, something that they can use for purchases, for transfers, and for all sorts of use cases where they won't risk it uh, dropping in value overnight. So in South Korea, we do not have any form of stable coin, if, I, if I'm correct. So the average viewers might not have, have a very hard time understanding how a stable coin be, can be used in real life. So could you give me a like, specific example and explain a bit more with examples? Yeah, sure. So it, it can be used for everything from, you know, if you want to pay a friend for pizza or if you're worried about the fluctuation of a currency, you can purchase and hold true USD. It's a way to get exposure to the US dollar without needing a US bank account. Um, we have lots of institutional traders and hedge funds that when the markets are uh, beginning to go down, they'll purchase a large amount of true USD so that they can uh, hedge all of their positions. Uh, those are just a few examples, but we've seen people start to use TrueUSD for things like real estate purchases uh, or sending money internationally. It, there's really all sorts of uh, use cases for it. So instead of TrueUSD, what, what other assets are you tr um, thinking of issuing? Could you explain about that? Yeah, sure. So we'll be starting this year focusing on currencies, so also foreign currencies. Um, but soon we're going to uh, be launching commodities as well, things like gold and silver, uh, and maybe in the future things like diamonds or, or oil. Uh, but down the road around in, in 2019 and beyond, we're going to begin uh, issuing tokens that represent things like real estate, bonds, uh, and this will, you know, and U.S. companies or their revenue streams. So this will give access to international investors around the world, uh, access to some of the best financial products. So uh, th this is a question that I want to, it's kind of a critical question because the, I believe that there's a disbelief with, uh, with um, stablecoin. For instance, the Tether is the most popular form of stablecoin nowadays. Um, however, the transparency of that um, cryptocurrency is always questioned all the time. I mean, is it transparent? There is audit and no one believes in um, stablecoin nowadays. So what is the difference um, between um, Tether and TrueUSD? How is it more transparent? Yeah. So there's a few things. Uh, the, the easiest to point to is the fact that we actually have uh, relationships with outside third party accounting firms uh, and they perform attestations, uh, which are reports on all of the funds held in our bank account and all of the true USD that's in circulation, confirming that those amounts match. And we post those reports publicly every single month. Uh, and you can view those on our blog today. Um, on top of that, though, perhaps the biggest difference between us and Tether is that users can come to our website, sign up to use our web app, and then they can actually redeem their true USD for US dollars. Uh, and we've built legal protections into our product so that we as a company cannot touch the funds. Uh, unlike Tether, uh, this means only the token holders have a legal right to claim the dollars in the bank account. Mm, that, that, that's a huge difference. So um, the pro another question I want to ask you is um, there are a lot of governments who are against cryptocurrency 
And I think you'll have a lot of difficult time issuing different um, stable coins. So how are you going, going to work with different governments? I mean, you have already worked with obviously U.S. governments, but with other governments, how are you planning to work with them? And how are you trying to be complying with their rules? Yeah. So we, uh, we're partnering with uh, an exchange in Japan called Coin, and we are brokering with them a, a conversation with the FSA and the Japanese government to explore what stable coins can look like in Japan. But in other countries like Korea um, or throughout the European Union or, or the UK, um, we want to start being proactive as well. We plan to uh, hire an office in Asia so that we can be more progressive and join all the conversations happening both in government and within banks uh, because we want to work with those institutions to bring uh, tokenized forms of their currencies to market. Oh, that's really great. Uh, recently, TrueUSD was listed on Binance. However, the price of TrueUSD was kind of fluctuated during that time. Um, could you explain what happened and how are you planning to solve this problem? Yeah, sure. Uh, we, we don't actually see it as a, as a problem. So the, the stability of TrueUSD is based on the fact that anyone can come and redeem for the US dollars at any time. Uh, the price that's represented on an exchange is really just what someone somewhere in the world is willing to pay for it at that time. So, uh, you know, if at any point in time, like you were walking down the street and someone said, I will buy that $1 for $1.50, that would be a good deal. You should sell them your dollar. Uh, and that's what was going on in Binance is there was uh, speculation and people didn't quite understand. They weren't familiar with our product. So they were willing to pay more than it was worth to purchase it. But quickly the market was educated and realized, oh wait, this is actually worth only $1 and I can redeem for $1. And so you saw the price stabilize. Um, so again, the, the, the product itself is always stable because you, can, you never have to sell it. You can always come to us and we will always buy it back for, and give you your $1 or you can always purchase it for exactly $1. Mm. So just out of curiosity, how do you guys manage the price of um, stable coin? What algorithm do you guys use? In? Uh, so we, we don't use an algorithm. The, the price is actually stabled by the market itself. So because the market is aware that it's always worth a dollar, that means market makers around the world are willing to buy it for a dollar or sell it for a dollar or within one cent. Uh, and so that's what keeps the price stable. So it's actually the collective market intelligence. And what is the business model like for true, true token? I mean, how do you guys earn money? Yeah, so on uh, Trust Token as a business, where it's a broader business, uh, we plan to, over time, essentially become like a decentralized investment bank. Uh, this means, while we will have a platform, which is really a network uh, for underwriting, we're also going to offer a service, which is similar to like an investment bank, where we're going to help businesses um, do their security token offerings. And in that way, we're, gonna we're able to charge fees and take a, a portion of the, the ultimate offering. So uh, we, we plan to generate revenue through other parts of the business, and that's how we're able to offer certain products like TrueUSD uh, at break even. Um, Trust Token received $20 million in funding. Um, how, do you, how are you planning to spend that money? Like, like how are we going to invest and how, are we going to, how much are we going to spend on development and so on? Yeah. So unlike a lot of other businesses, we actually have a very capital intensive business. Uh, and that's for a number of reasons. One uh, is obviously when it comes to building a, a distributed investment bank, um, a big part of what we plan to do is also acquire certain assets, tokenize them, and then sell, uh, sell those assets so the security tokens can trade. Uh, and that obviously requires a large amount of capital. But more importantly, we also need to be able to market make. Uh, this is very similar to what bulge bracket bank banks like Morgan Stanley or Golden Sachs do when they have an initial public offering. We need the ability to support uh, the prices of the products that we bring to market. And that requires tens of millions of dollars. So primarily, if I broke into two categories, it's the operating expenses of our business, and that's hiring the best people and building the best team. But then more importantly, for our, our banking type functions and, and trading support, uh, that requires an enormous amount of capital. So what are you guys currently working on? Like, what is the focus work that you guys are currently working on? Yeah, our, our three focuses right now as a business is one, hiring the absolute best team possible. So we have a lot of jobs listed on our website. Uh, we're hiring both in Asia and in the United States. Uh, two, 
uh, we really are focused on currencies and commodities. So you're going to see quite a few more products coming out from us uh, in the rest of this quarter and next quarter. And then the third thing is we're laying the groundwork for next year so that we can begin issuing securities. There's a lot of regulatory requirements as well as manpower uh, that we need to put in place in order to, to build that business successfully. So for the last question, where do you guys see yourself in two or three years? I mean, could you expl briefly explain about the roadmap and what is the future like for your company and your team? Yeah. So within two to three years, we hope to be the de facto leader in tokenized currencies and commodities. Uh, and we hope to be an emerging player with the most trusted brand in terms of the security tokens that we bring to market as well. Uh, so really, we think of ourselves as a financial product company, but our goal is to gain consumers' trust, and we can only do that by bringing really high-quality products to market. So uh, wait and see. That, that, that's our goal. Thank you so much for your time, and it was a really great interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I got this soda,